JTF's Puppet Pals, one of the greatest channels that I have ever stumbled upon. A channel where classic skits are uploaded to a YouTube channel with puppets talking and getting into like different situations. And also these videos down here are also funny when they're just like walking around and reacting to stuff as well. Those are classics too. Today I'm going to re be reacting to a video on Jake the Fox's third channel, JTF's Puppet Pals. First, I'd like to say I'm almost at 300 subscribers, six subscribers away. All right, so please do subscribe. My goal is 300 subscribers before the official start of summer. If I hit 300 subscribers before or after the deadline, I'll chop down every single ice tree in one video in Lumber Tycoon 2. And look at this. This video almost has 100 views. Oh my goodness gracious. What we got? This, 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 then this. Five videos break 100 views. This one's almost at 300. This one's almost at 200. Incredible. I'm getting off topic here. This video is called The Robbery. On This is a video on JTS Puppet Pals. This is uploaded May 7th, 2022. No, May 6th, 2022. And it has 18 views as of May 15th, 2022. So basically, every single time I go to, over to Jake the Fox's house, me and him do a puppet skit, all right? We do a puppet skit together for JTF's Puppet Pals, right? All right? It's a really fun thing that I really enjoy doing, and the puppet skits are actually really, really good. And they're also shorter, too than any Koopa show was ever. And they're better too. And more like well thought out. Like they're they're better. It's better than the Koopa show. All right. And the videos aren't even that long either. So if you don't have too much time on your hands, then this video won't take up too much time. All right. Let's get to react to this video. All right. It's I had a lot of fun making this with Jake the Fox. And I'm sure you guys will enjoy this video too. I'm coming. Hey, Paul. I wanted to stop by and warn you that there have been recent reports of robberies happening around this neighborhood. So be sure to stay safe. There you are, sir. All right. Have, have a nice day. Yep. All right. I'd like to pause here and I'd like to. Oh, I don't want to make the video too loud. All right. So I'd like to pause here and I'd like to say um, we used um, Jake the Fox's back door for this. So basically, we're pretending this is the front door. And then we had to, like, I had the police officer puppet, like, um, in front of that uh, screen door so that the puppet could knock on the door and then Ralph answered the door and yeah that's basically what what went down all right so it's kind of like that's like a front door is what we we're trying to do and I thought that was pretty cool you too who's at the door oh it was Paul what do you have to say he warns about robbers Ralph this is bad all those doors are made out of wood not the front door it's made out of metal no, unfortunately, it's actually made out of wood. Then what do we do? How about we upgrade all the doors to metal? That's expensive. All right, then how about we get the main doorbell? What does that do? <laughs> it has a camera on it. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is funny. That is funny. All right. Um. So basically, in this scene... Um, so Jake the Fox voices both characters. You can see, see Ralph screaming right there. <laughs> Jake the Fox voices both Kenny and Ralph, all right? And there is a lot of lines in that scene. And I actually had to write it down on a piece of paper for him to remember because that was a lot of lines, all right? Like, who on earth could remember that many lines unless they rehearsed it night and day? And we, we didn't have that much time in our hands. I was only sleeping over for one night. Oh, my goodness gracious. But he actually did great. He actually did that in all all in one take. I was holding the Kenny puppet up. He was holding the Ralph puppet and the phone to record. And I was holding the piece of paper that showed the lines that he needed to say. And he was looking over and he did pretty well. And every time Kenny spoke, I was like moving the puppet's mouth. That scene actually worked out pretty well, I have to say. There's something else I was going to say, but I forget. Oh, also, yeah, Jake the Fox's doors were made out of metal. All right or whatever they're made out of, um, what house, unless, like, unless it's, like, there's not many houses that all the doors are made out of wood, so I just, I just had to compromise there or whatever and just say, oh, um, the door is actually made out of wood, but 
it looks like it's made out of metal. In reality, it's made out of metal, but canonically, it's made out of wood in this video. All right. All right. Where is that Let's continue about? reacting. It went three weeks ago. It was supposed to come a week ago. Come on. This is this I don't seems know funny. How. I don't know <laughs> why, but for some reason, <laughs> was sent down to the fire station. I this character might be my favorite character in all of JTS Puppet Pals. His name is Jim, all right? I don't know how, but here you go. So that's where I went. Yep, I guess so. He, yeah, if you don't know, in a previous episode, Kenny goes to work at the fire station, and he's a firefighter. And Jim is his boss. All right, well, you have a nice day. You too, Jim. All right, I'll see you tomorrow at work. Be late. All right. Well, get in here. What was it, Kenny? You know, I like, um, like all the scenes of where, like, one of them is them on the couch, and then this one, since Kenny has the ring, he puts it on the bar, and then, yeah, it's film Kenny, like, next to it on the bar, and then Ralph goes towards Kenny. That's, that's super cool. Kenny, can you set this new rain doorbell? Sure. Okay. Okay, and we are done. What? I, I like, I thought that was pretty cool how, like, Sure. Jacob okay. Fox had like a little like thing. He has a ring, by the way. That's where his ring is. Um, I think that's cool. How Jake the Fox had like a little like tool. Like he saved the little tool. So I I made it look like Ralph was like fixing it. That looks so cool. That that was very well made. Okay, and we are done. Woo! This is cool. Look, smacks his face into the ring, and then we can't do much. All right. Um. All right, give us a break here. We just put a piece of tape and drew marker on it. It's not like we get paid for these videos, all right? So give us a break there, all right? Oh, no! I think I broke it! What am I going to tell Ralph? You know what? I'm just going to just walk away. Later that evening! Oh, I wonder what to steal <laughs> from this house. <laughs> that voice is so funny. Oh, no! It's a ring camera. <laughs> it's broken. I could go right in. That's not good. The robber oh. going in the house. That's not good. Yep, well, canonically, that was supposed to be a robber going in the house. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get my favorite sword. What? It's not here. I could have swore I put it here yesterday. I made no somebody in here recently. Oh my god, I'm getting worried. What? There's no footage here. Let me go check the camera. That was also really cool because Jake the Fox had like some kind of like um older PC or computer. Yeah, PC downstairs in his basement. So Ralph looked on that. That was really cool. Really cool, I have to say. Also, what? What is that box? Nursery? What? I guess that's an older box. <laughs> All right. Don't check the cameras, Ralph. Why not? They're probably fine. Well, I'm going to go check them anyway. Get out of my way. All right. So what I basically decided to do for that scene is I wanted um Kenny to, like, stop Ralph and be like, no, 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 don't go out there. All right. Like, you know, like how, like, if someone doesn't want you to see something. And someone else is like, I got to go check the ring doorbell. And they're like, no, 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 don't do that. And then they'll be like, why? And they'll be like, Ugh, they'll make like a ridiculous reason. Now, that's, that's what that scene was really supposed to be. All right, get ready for this scene. Oh, it's Morgan. Can you get down here? <laughs> did you do this, Kenny? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Kenny, you couldn't be running this this whole library. I'm sorry. It's okay. We'll just order a new one. No big deal. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for this video. So we watch, guys. And, um... Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this big video here. And uh, we'll, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, so I got to explain a couple things here. Um, first of all, um, no one, like, unless someone had a lot of money, no one will be like, oh, it's okay. We'll just order a new one. Unless they're really, really polite and nice. Most people would probably get mad and be like, why did you destroy, like, what, like, why did you destroy it? Holy crap. You know, they'd be at least a little bad. Right. I guess Ralph is just patient. But, um, the lesson of that is, is that you should never, 
Like, if you ever break something, you should, like, always come forth about it. Like, if you ever, like, destroy something or something like that. Or, like, do something bad. Always come clean about it, all right? All right, you understand? Because, like, in that situation, since Kenny didn't tell Ralph that he broke the ring doorbell, the robber got in and broke in. If Kenny would have told Ralph about the, the broken ring doorbell earlier, then Ralph could have ordered a new one and then prevented the entire robbery. But since Kenny didn't come forth from his act, like for his actions and like confess, like I broke the ring, hey, I broke the ring doorbell, the ro a robber broke in. So that's way worse than just, um, well, in this case, Ralph was just like, oh, I'll just order a new one. But the average case would be, why did you break it? I can't believe you broke this. But then, you know, you just get yelled at a little bit, and then they'd order a new ri ring doorbell, and everything's fine. No robbery. So you guys get the, the lesson here. This this video teaches a little lesson. I like, I like the whole entire, like, plot of this. This is really great. And also the lesson that it teaches as well. And also the later that evening scene is funny too. And then the robber, when the robber spoke was kind of funny too. All right. Well, that was a great video. Go subscribe to JTS Puppet Pals. Jake the Fox as well, by the way. His channel has had 124 subscribers as of when I'm recording this, all right? He is only six subscribers away from his goal as well as me, I'm only, I'm only six subscribers away from my goal as well. All right, that's it for me. Peace out.